Hello everyone, welcome back to another vlog on the JB and Millie channel. I am JB and today we are going to be meeting Jennifer Hale at MCM Comic Con in Birmingham. So if you are interested, we did interview Jennifer Hale a couple of months ago now. I'm going to be leaving that interview in the description down below. So yeah, if you're familiar with our other Comic Con vlogs, we're going to be meeting Jennifer Hale. We're going to be looking for some merch and seeing what we can see. So yeah, we hope that you do enjoy. Let's go. Okay, so this is part of the vlog and it is freezing. Really, really cold. Oh, I love that one. Look at this place. This is like a huge Pokemon show. Oh my gosh. I kinda I can't tell if I love the texture of this one or hate it, but it's so soft. I need that one, that's so cute. Oh my gosh, there's a mud kip as well. That one there. Little badge there. This is adorable. Oh. Yeah, that's the last one. Fred Flintstone. I like the space goes. Oh, it's a chase. Peter Potamus. The Flintmobile. Daphne. Velma. And the Creeper. These are awesome. I just wish I didn't sell that Patel one. Oh, this is cool. Which one? Where's the 
This is one of the best one cars we've seen at a Comic Con. Yeah, especially that Jabba Joe for 20. That is, and it's a four. Oh, okay. That is a good price for that Jabba Joe. Yeah. That is adorable. Wow. I, I don't know the name of it, but I know one of you mean. Thirty pounds. I want to get it.
Lisbon. such a, a full heart from seeing people's experience in the work because I see it behind the scenes right? and to see people after the fact what it means um, I didn't really do well in regular schools um, I seemed to have a bullseye on my forehead and uh, then I ended up getting a job at a video production studio which is right next door to an audio studio and they brought me next door to do I think a valley girl and I was just gobsmacked that they paid me 30 or 35 US dollars, and I was like, what? So I doggedly pursued it. I used to, I was still a t in, I think, high school, and I put on a little suit and would cold call ad agencies door to door with my little demo, and just worked it like a dog. And then I moved to LA, honestly, for film and TV, because I, I had a theater scholarship in college, but that style of acting didn't make sense to me, didn't click for me, but I got my first film audition, and I booked it, and that made sense to me. So I moved to LA for that, and I worked, but it's, you know, when you're first starting out, it's not enough to pay all your bills. So I made a voiceover tape just to get some money, because I'd done that for years before I moved to LA, and then I got my first cartoon audition, and I was not even allowed to watch cartoons as a kid, but I was like, I don't know, I'll just do this, and it, it worked, so, yeah. Warrior you known, Mass Effect, you know, it's just Thank been you. amazing. I feel like it could have went on for even longer. Would you like to tell everyone where we can find you if you want to follow your career and your next projects? Yeah, I'm on Twitter. I am uh, at jhaletweets on Instagram. I am at jhalegram, G-R-A-M. I am on my site that I created for voice actors called acting.skillshub.life. You can follow and find me in all those places. Um, yes. You're pretty good at it. Thank you all. Yeah, fuck you, David and Jennifer! Okay, so we are now back from MCM Birmingham, and this is the first item that we managed to pick up. It is a Scooby-Doo Mystery Machine money box, which I think is absolutely incredible. The box is a little bit damaged, but it was great to get it in the box in the first place, so really, really happy to get this. Now, when we did check, apparently this was released in 2023, which is, of course, as of the time of filming this year, so I don't know where this would be readily available. We certainly haven't seen it in any UK-based shops, so if you're in the US and watching this and this is like a hot topic or something, please do let us know because I'd be very curious to find out where that is from. Maybe we'll unbox it at some point. Now, the next thing we got is this, which I distinctly remember having this as a kid. Like, I remember it came in that, like, generic Mystery Machine packaging or something. Like, I do remember this. There was also a Karate Scooby and maybe one else, but I distinctly remember having this figure as a kid, so it was really nostalgic to get this back. Now, there's some homemade things. There is a Velma and Fred. These are really cute homemade knitted ones. There was a Shaggy as well, but the hair on that looked a bit off, and I don't know, and it was a bit disappointing that there wasn't a Daphne, of course, but the Fred and Velma do look absolutely incredible, so it was amazing to get those. Now, the penultimate thing isn't exactly Scooby-related, but it is holiday-related. Now, this is a Gremlins Christmas tree ornament. It did snap literally the second we tried to use it, so Millie had to repair that. But because Gremlins is one of my favourite Christmas movies of all time, it, was, it made a lot of sense to get this. And last but certainly not least, we have our Hex Girls Funko Pop signed by Jennifer Hale. Now, I guess it does go without saying that from the moment this pop was announced, I am disappointed that Thorn wasn't in the middle. I think that that made way more sense. I still don't know why that decision was made to not have Thorn in the middle. But regardless, the fact that we have Thorn there and Jennifer Hale's autograph is absolutely incredible. This has definitely skyrocketed to become one of our most prized possessions. Now, uh, this is just amazing. Uh, of course, uh, uh, you know, end goal, the main thing would be to get both Kimberly Brooks and Jane Wheedlin to sign this, because that would just be, like, in like collecting the Infinity Stones. But this is absolutely incredible. So, yeah, we hope that you did enjoy this vlog. 
Sorry that it was a bit short on content or anything like that if it felt a bit different to our other Comic Con vlogs, but as you can probably tell by my voice for the last week or so, I have been quite ill and also like working in a toy store on the build up to Christmas has been an experience to say the very least, but it's still going absolutely incredibly. We hope that it's going amazingly for you as well. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for not only the Jennifer Hale interview, but also for our December interviews, which are going incredibly so far. I'm not sure when this is going to go out, but it should be about in time to prepare for our announcement on Friday, which... Yeah, that's going to be a big one. So thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.